What's up everyone? It's Gary Williams, GM Outdoor Services. Back at you another video. Just came straight from a large boulder wall project. I uh, ran on a lake, it was brutal, it was windy, snowy. I don't know if you can see, but it's coming down pretty good. Got the T66 here, Arctic sectional. This is a commercial account we've had for a couple years now. We tend to get accounts, we tend to uh, keep them, try not to lose them. So we have the main drag, it's a good showpiece, as they say. Shop compressor showed up here. One of the trucks all hooked up ready there. It's a very, very rare sighting here. See the E55 not on a job site. I think it's an absolute unit. Got about a couple thousand hours on it now. Last two years. Loader fits in here in a real nice, a real nice and warm salt truck. So someone in the other video was saying that they cringe when they see all the salt on here. Well, yeah, I kind of did too. Look at that, the box is full. This thing's having uh, an issue. It's kicking it all out the bottom. Look at that, it's so bad. The auger is the auger is kicking it out the bottom, so we're getting that replaced. Shovel truck, throw some shovelers. Couple guys, couple shovels, no blowers in there. Couple of the other trucks are still out and about. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, how many hours do you think uh, they're gonna want 8, 10, 12. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we can give them uh, probably at least 8, so. Yeah, if they need to leave earlier, anytime it's, they can go do it. How, how big is it? Yeah. Why are you videoing me? <laughs> Cause you had to stop when you see over there smirking. Probably gonna screw on the table. Give me a little smirk. Put one of these suckers in the disc. Kinda figured, period. Do it. Let me know what your ETA is. What do you guys keep doing? Drooling for the guy's table. That's a nice hole. Of course, Caleb feels it. That's I'm just wiping the table. Alright, enough messing around. Let's go plow some snow. You always gotta do something to kill an hour or two before the snow starts coming down and you got enough to start plowing.
as you can see here, he's leaving a little bit, probably a couple inches. There's a huge row in here. There was, I pushed all the snow kind of from all these parking spots, all the parking spots and everything in. So now he got it bulked to the end. Make a few more trips and uh, get your scrapes down. This is new, uh, brand new asphalt. This is a brand new facility right here in downtown Big Lake. Brand new facility, so it's brand new asphalt. So you can see, but this thing scrapes. This thing scrapes really good. It's nice and flat, so it gets a good peel. That truck is putting in some work. <laughs> That's a lot of snow. It's getting, it's kind of warm. It's only about 30 degrees, so a little heavy. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but I've had this exact same hat. If you go back to my very first plowing video, I still have this exact same hat. If you guys want to buy, everyone calls this the plowing hat. If you ever want to buy one, shoot me an email. Marlena had some, got like an embroidered that say like the plowing hat or something, you know, something, you know, something smart. So shoot me an email, send you a plowing hat. building it's nice nice asphalt there's a loader showing up <laughs> take the snow right off my blade <laughs> <laughs> 